Hi everyone, my name is Magdalena and I am a makeup artist and teacher at the Makeup Forever Academy in Paris. Today I'm with the gorgeous Najma and we are going to show you three bright eye looks that you can achieve at home under five minutes. Hello everyone, I'm Najma Ahmed. I'm a student and an influencer and I'm really happy to be here with Makeup Forever to show you three bright eye looks. And make sure that you comment down below because three of you will get a chance to win the whole makeup kit that I will show you here. Let's get started. So Najma, when it comes to more creative and arty makeup, what do you usually go for? I usually do like a winged eyeliner or I take my like, you know, blush, the excess blush and I put it on my eyelids. Okay. Because I'm I usually got into doing my and uh, eye makeup when I go out. So I'm starting like basic. <laughs> That's good because we're gonna do three different creative liners. Cool. So I think that you can get some ideas for your next night out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. So we're gonna start with the first liner that we call the duochrome black and gold eyeliner that was inspired by James Caliardos. So I'm going to use our graphic pen liner, which is jet black, super nice. So um, I've already done Najma's skin, brows and lips. I added also a little bit of blush. Um, I kept it simple because the eyeliner is going to be the focal point of the makeup. We added a little bit of concealer and now I'm going to powder it gently with our HD powder, just so that the eyeliner can stay in place. So to trace the liner, I'm starting at the lash line. Okay, so I'm lifting a little bit the eyelid so that the lash line can be very saturated with the black color. And to make the eye even more elongated, I'm not going with the liner up to the inner corner. I'm stopping in the middle. I'm fading it in the middle of the eyelid. I make sure it's thinner here and a little bit more thicker in the outer corner. So now I'm just going to perfect the line. Make it nice and sharp. So I'm tracing the outer part of my liner, so it's going to be almost as if I was elongating the bottom lash line. So I'm just continuing that line, making sure I make it as long as I want. And then I'm just making sure that my liner is very sharp. Is the liner waterproof? Um, yeah, it is. Actually, every product for Makeup Forever that has aqua in its name, it means that it's waterproof. I'm going to do like an unexpected little line that's going to happen all around this liner. Okay, so it's going to be like a V um, that's going to be very sharp and very precise. You can see I'm not trying to be super precise at first, I'm just sketching it out. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to perfect the, the lines, make it nice and sharp. So if you want to correct anything, I'm using a flat brush. This one is number 208, so a very flat, precise brush. And if you make any mistakes, you can really like follow the line. I just clean it clean it up after. Exactly. Okay, now what we have left is to add some golden accents to it, okay, that we're gonna place in the inner corner. We're gonna go for the Aqua Resist Color Ink Liners. So before applying, I'm going to shake it a little bit and I'm going to add a little accent in the inner corner. Perfect, and then we have um, the last line. I will do it a little bit above the crease, just here, as well with the gold. I'm just going above the crease. Once I have the placement, she can look down, I don't mind it. And then you can elongate it as much as you want, you can thicken it. So Najma, take a look, tell me what you think about the new liners, the Aqua Resist Color Liner and the Graphic Pen. I really like it. It went on really smoothly and quickly, which I love. And the color is so pigmented, so I really, really like it. Yeah, it works beautifully with your skin tone and your yeah. eye color. I think it would it, be it, like a really good look for like a night out. Totally, yeah. Or like the New Year's. Okay, so I will make you do the mascara if you're okay with it. Yeah, yeah? I can do that. So I'm going to give you the Smoky Stretch Mascara. Here you go. Oh, it's such a nice brush. Yeah, it's a silicone brush, which helps you to uh, gain a lot of length um, through your lashes. It will also give a lot of definition to them. Yeah, I need that definitely. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. <gasps> that... And it didn't clump. 
Yeah. I love it. Yeah, that finishes the look perfectly. Okay, so here we have it, the duochrome black and gold liner. So let's move on to our second option for the bright eye looks. Um, we're going to use exclusively the Aqua Resist Color Ink Liners. And I've chosen two beautiful colors for you. Here they are. What do you think, Najma? Pink and blue, I love them. It's my favorite colors, especially yeah. pink. Really, I'm glad you like them. Um, so I chose those colors because they are quite opposite on the color wheel, which means that when we're going to place them together, you're gonna have a lot of contrast on your eye. So that's why I, I chose those. Um, so both have, uh, the pink one is metallic and the blue one, it has a duochrome shift to it. So it's going to be a very bright and original look. Okay, so I'm going to start with the blue one first. I'm going to shake it a little bit to mix the formula. And I'm going to place it just as you would normally with your eyeliner. Starting at the lash line, I'm going to go this time uh, up into the inner corner. Um, and I'm not going to elongate it too much, but at home you can do whatever you wish. If you wanted to make it super elongated, go for it. So I'm lifting the eyelid a little bit. Oh God, I already love the color on you. It's so pretty. So again, starting at the lash line, thickening it, I'm going to thicken it at the end and towards the inner corner, I'm making sure it's more thin. And now I'm going to do the flick and I'm going to follow the bottom lash line as my guide. So you can see even like this, you can wear it every day, I think. But we're gonna make it a little bit more fun by adding the pink. So I'm going to do the blue line also on the other side. So I'm going to create a negative space um, on the bottom lash line. So I'm taking the blue liner again, and you can see I'm gonna leave that little space that you have in the inner corner, and that's where we're going to put the pink. So it's going to be quite an unexpected placement. And also the liner, I'm fading it in the middle of the bottom lash line for more of a modern twist. I'm not going all the way through. So now we're gonna put the blue away. We're not finished with it yet though. Um, we're gonna go to the pink now. So with the pink liner, we're going to fill in the negative space that we did. And here I'm going to place the pink in that negative space. So really following that blue line. So now I'm going to follow with the pink and I'm going to put it on top of the liner that we've created. I'm doing like a thicker line on top of that blue. And as I told you, I'm not done yet with the blue, so I'm gonna add a little line on top of the pink again. So it's going to be like a superposition of, um, of colors. So Najma, what do you think about the combination of those two colors together? I love it, they really work together. It's yeah. so cute. It suits you. It's a little bit more playful yeah, than the it, first look. And it makes like my brown eyes pop a little bit. Because yeah. it's blue and like pink. And I've heard those goes like well with brown eyes. Yeah, they do. So Najma, what do you think about a pink and purple combination? I feel like it will look really good because it's two colors that goes really well together. Yeah, totally. That's why I chose those two colors because I wanted to do like a soft blended um, eyeliner. It's still going to be um, quite graphic, um, but I wanted to have it more of an organic feel. Um, mm. So it's going to be like very fluid uh, line. So it will be something different. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to start by sketching the liner uh, with our artist color pencils. Have you seen those? No. Like they are no. all over internet. Our pros love them so much. Uh, oh, the wow. colors are beautiful. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, they are very creamy, very blendable, um, and they are perfect to do like bases on the eye and, and, and to sketch your liners. They are very creamy, like it went on really smoothly. So your eyelid is already prepped. So I put a little bit of concealer and powder. And I'm just adding a little bit of purple to the lash line. So you can see I've sketched out a little bit of a lash line with this purple liner. And now by, when Najma's eyes are open, I'm tracing this kind of rounded shape. I wanted to make it feel more organic and effortless. So you can really do the shape that you want. So I'm doing any little correction so that it's symmetrical using my flat brush. This is the 174 brush. 
which is great for that. If you need to correct something, it has a very flat edge. So it's super practical. So you can see I'm thickening that line because I want to have a little bit more texture so that I can blend it. So I'm taking a flat brush, here I'm using the 226. And I'm just blending that into the skin. So now that I, am, that I am done blending the purple, I'm going to add the pink so that we have a nice radiant effect on the eye. So can you close your eyes, Najma? I'm going to add it to the uh, lash line as well so that we can get the gradient effect also on the lash line. And also I'm going to add it a little bit on the outer corner as well here to add that pink touch. And I'm going to blend it softly with my flat brush again. Since the artist color pencils are not uh, waterproof, we are going to set them uh, with the starlit powders that are going to give also a beautiful shine to the lid. So the first one is going to be this beautiful purple. And since the crayon is a little bit more tacky, it's going to grip to the star powder super easily. So now let's add a touch of pink to blend the purple. So I chose this color, which is a little bit more vibrant. And I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush. It's also a flat brush, but I wanted to use it. Um, I wanted to have it bigger so that it can cover your lid um, quickly and easily and evenly. And I'm going to blend it into the skin so that it kind of fades away. And you can see how it grabs really nicely to the lid since we put that artist color pencil on the skin. And I'm blending it softly with the purple. And to intensify a little bit more that graphic shape in the outer corner, we're going to line it um, with an eyeliner. So we're gonna go back to our Aqua Resist Color Ink Liner. Um, this shade is in matte plum, and I'm going to outline the shape that we did so it adds to that gradient effect. Okay. So now I'm adding a little bit of the Artist Color Pencil to the inner corner, just to add a touch of that purple. So I'm blending it and also adding a little bit of that um, star powder to make the purple pop a little bit more. Okay, Neshma, do you want to do your mascara again? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, Just perfect. Yeah, that looks perfect. Thank you. So Najma, which one of those three look is your favorite? Um, for me, it's probably the first one because it was more me. It was like a black eyeliner with a gold and that's yeah. very me. The second would probably be this one because I love how extra it is and the colors. Yeah. And I wouldn't probably wear it every day. I wouldn't do that, but you know. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like on a like a night out when I want to be extra, it will look, it will look cute. Great, I'm happy you like it. Thank you. Yay. Okay guys, so here you have it, our three bright eye looks. Um, I hope that you had fun watching those creative liners and that you will have fun at home while recreating those looks and twisting them in your own way. Najima, did you enjoy it? I love that. It was really fun. So I hope we will see each other very soon and make sure yeah. you subscribe to the channel because we will be posting more tutorials. See you guys. Bye. Bye.